It's time for the Giz Whiz with man's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1989, recorded Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. Notes on toast. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dickie D has not one but two. What the heck is it? I have another off price retail gadget that has so many features and your videos. All next on the Giz Whiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the wizard of gadgets, Dick D. Bartarlo. How you doing, Diggy D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very what good. Is your, what is your shirt? Oh, this yeah. is this was my hand-made... Um, uh, Tortured Poets Department, Taylor Swift uh, shirt. Oh, 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 oh. I just decided oh. I would, actually the reason, we had talked about this earlier, I was having mic issues and I wanted a very uh, velvety inside to stick some Velcro oh, to. Oh, oh, right, okay. So I snagged this one and then I ended up not using it. But this was, uh, I used a Cricut machine to print out like, um, uh, almost like a vinyl, but it was a, a heat transfer ink to make merchandise for the album that didn't have merchandise yet. Cause <laughs> I'm surprised that you remembered what a typewriter looked like. Oh yeah. You know, I saw the most insane video that it has to do with typewriters. Did you, do you know that there were typewriters that had an undo button option? Did you? Oh, absolutely. Did you? The IBM Selectric. Yes. I assume that that used whiteout. So just basically put white. No, no. I got in trouble for with, with Bill Gaines. When I joined the staff at MAD in the office, Bill said, do you need anything special? And I said, uh, Bill, over at Goodson Todd, me, we're using uh, the IBM Selectrics. And they have a correction feature that lets you actually lift what you typed that you didn't want off the paper yeah. and retype it. And he said, oh, well, how much is that? And I said, well, they're like $500. And he said, oh, that's okay. You can get one. And then <laughs> about two months later, he calls me in and he goes, your machine does not keep repeating the ribbon, using it over and over. <laughs> you need to get a new ribbon every time? I know. I said, are we joking here or he said, I'm not joking. <laughs> I said, no, because it needs the bottom where the red would be. That is the liftoff tape. It was amazing. I mean, yeah. you could hit delete and hold it down. You could take out a paragraph if you want. And then the paper is just white. Yeah. It literally took the print off. Well, yeah. he said, well, I have any searching for a reusable ribbon for that machine. Oh, that does it will not exist. I know. So I just bought a box of them and didn't bill mad. And <laughs> because it was worth it for me to have that. Anyway. That's so funny. Uh, yeah. I, I, I recently relearned all about all of that. Uh, and that, you know, your typical ribbon was just an ink ribbon, but this ribbon was uh, different and it would, yeah. you'd use it up. Every character would be like pressed into the page, but that was the same reason you could lift it off. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's just insane. And then the video I was watching was like, by the way, the CIA <laughs> had to destroy these cartridges somehow because everything you typed was now on the ribbon because it would oh. use it would use the space on the ri the ri it, you know at, once it punched a character that character would be removed from the ribbon and you couldn't use it anymore. Um, and so you'd have a, a log of everything you had just typed in the ribbon. Oh my gosh, my gosh. And then we had, you could have a, you bought them separately. If you wanted to change the typeface, like mm -hmm. from Elite to Piker, you would just, the ball had a little clip on top. You clicked it and the ball would pop out. And as Gene got older and his eyesight got worse, he said, can you type bigger? I said, well, 
let me ask the office manager. So I asked her, I said, Jean wants the questions to be bigger. Um, so she called IBM and they said, we have a special ball. It can only type capital letters. <laughs> And since the ball doesn't have lowercase, oh, the capital letters are much bigger. Oh, and that yeah, is so, crazy. Yeah. So Gene said, "Yeah, that's fine. That's fine." Oh, that's great. So, yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. the uh, everything. It, I almost it makes me want to get a typewriter, honestly, <laughs> um, because I don't want to fiddle with a dang laser printer to figure out how to type like a. a Envelopes. I don't know. Just normal yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like if if there was something that I could kind of see where that it was gonna hit. Anyway. Yeah. No, that I was think a the, long the, digression about typewriters. Yes, yes. But the one of my favorite inventions of all time is uh, my Avaletti was the first one to do it. Was when you were typing stuff for it to type backwards because what? I'm suddenly thinking, well, printers. You know, printers print one way and then they're back. And instead of going, old printers used to go back to the beginning of the line and then type it. And then go back to the beginning of the line and type the next line. And then someone said, well, if you're feeding stuff into it, why doesn't the printer just print one line forward? Oh. And it prints the, the other line oh, backwards. Yeah. But it's, it's like a scan folded. machine. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. That's true. And I thought, wow. Well, that just doubled the speed of the machine. That's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, I, I got down a typewriter rabbit hole uh, this week <laughs> and uh, thought the same thing and thought just how cool it would be to have a different font with a different ball. Yeah. <laughs> like, they had go. some cool there ones. It was very mm -hmm. neat. Um, okay, well, let's jump to let's anything jump else in. we want to chat about before we jump into the gadgets. Uh, no, that was good. That was good. Sweet. I have a lot of uh, fun stuff. Yeah. And here is, what the heck is it? Number one. This is kind of a what the heck is it? And the reason it's kind of a what the heck is it is because I've not taken it out of the sack and I don't know if just looking at it, you'll instantly know what it is. Ah. Okay, you want to guess? Uh, it looks like an umbrella. An umbrella. It looks like okay. camping or something mm -hmm. from the sack. I'm going to guess like a no. close. A table. No. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A wall? It's a, light, a lamp. Um, okay. Well, I'll give you a lamp. Okay. Um, the reason... Looks like a thermos. That you wouldn't... You know what? This is... <laughs> this is a very weird... Whoa. ...device, okay? It's oh, a salt shaker. Oh, I see. It's a pepper grinder and a lamp. It's a coffee grinder. Yes, you got <laughs> is it. Is it really? No. Oh. No. <laughs> All right, so... This is what's interesting about this. You know, we're getting into the warm weather. You're thinking about camping. So... Three solar panels. Ah. ah. Three lightings for the tent. Can hang it up. That's very clever. Comes with USB C. And I'm not sure what is a lightning cable in here. Maybe because it has charging in and out. Okay, it has a 4800 milliamp battery. And it's also a flashlight. So let's. Let's close it. That is so clever. And start with. Oh, okay. So there's your lamp. But nice it looks like a chandelier. Yeah. Yeah, for a tent. This is great. That's amazing. Okay. It's just amazing. That's uh, one. It's now, spin. It could be a fan as well. <laughs> you got it going really fast. And I'm not sure what this doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, oh, okay. So there we're changing the color of the light. Now we have a flashlight. A very bright flash. Yeah. And then we go into uh, emergency light and then off. Okay. So that's sort of warmish and whitish and very whitish. And you know how wow. this. Oh. It dims it. It dim. I was, you know, I was clicking Whoa. it, saying it's not doing anything. I th I was clicking you hold it. It's, it in. it's stepless dimming. Mmm. This is really nice. Let me go to the uh, softer white. Okay. So now you don't click it. You just hold your hand on the button and look at it's dimming. 
So at night you want just a little the, bit of light in the, the phone in the, is uh, tent. Yeah, auto canceling and it out. Once you stop bit. dimming it and it hits high, full high, stop. Take your finger off, put your finger back on, and then it goes back into. Boy, that's neat. Okay, so charges via solar power, or charges via USB-C. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So now, and this is rubberized. Oh, this is really nice, okay. And there are LEDs for them. It shows that this just has half power, two LEDs. That's to charge at USB-C. And then if you want to use this to charge your phone, a little emergency boost. That's the output. And you have the output cable uh, for USB-C. And you have an output cable if you have a... In, think uh, think of what this might be priced at on a phone. I guess it's an older phone. Oh, hey. Everything lately is USB C. My guess would be like uh, I think it's twenty really five. Nice. Oh, pretty good. That was really, really, really. I like the fact that it's a chandelier as well. It's yeah, cool. I, this is really great. Okay, ta -da! let's take a peek. Uh, a very reasonable, reasonably oh, wow. priced. I thought. Um, 21, 24, just 21 ratings, but 4.6 out of 5 stars. Uh, it is the five-way dimmable, lantern, solar panels, three, rechargeable, waterproof, five-in-one dimmable. Waterproof? That's it. Does it have a name? It is the, <laughs> it's, it's like an almost with the, all the letters out of order. A S O M S T, whatever that means. Um, that's it. If you're going camping, this is a, a nice gadget to have with you. We have, we'll see it when we get to the Gravity Corner, but very similar gadgets. Oh, oh really? Very different, but also very similar in, in weird ways. This is. A, I like it. I think that this would be a really, like you said, amazing camping accessory. Yeah, because you hang it up and, and let it light charge you during the it. day. You got a really nice soft light, which is in a. T I've been there. You take a flashlight and you stick it in the tent, and then you got a, <laughs> a beam down, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you're exactly. like, "Oh, great! This is wonderful." With a nice, soft, big area, that that looks great. That yeah. really looks great. And then during the day, just leave uh, the fins down so it can charge for the nighttime. And that little extra cable. Yeah. And you then have use to have it an as a older proper. iPhone, right? All the new iPhones are USB-C, right? Correct. Yeah, that is yeah. true. That is true. Yeah, you don't need that lightning anymore. The only thing this thing needs is a fan. And then it's the perfect mobile I think we, yeah. we looked at it. Well, of you know, it's it's a rubberized thing. So if you wind it up really tight <laughs> and let it go, you could have a fan for about a minute and a half. Those those look kind of like fins. Uh, these uh, LED yeah, light bar yeah. things. I, I can yeah. see that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah I think it's very clever. I, I think it's it clever really too. Nice. I really like these. Uh, I mean, I remember as a kid thinking, why, why does something like this not exist? Like, I think Coleman made some weird magnetic thing back in the day that was just cr so crummy. And now it seems <laughs> like there's a lot of options, which is great. Yeah, no. Very, very cool. Okay, well, one gadget down. Should we? Okay, not a guest the gadget, uh -huh. but someone asked about this in chat, and I tried to find an answer. Recently, I did these little LED puck lights, motion yeah. sensor. Uh, I have one in my refrigerator. I have one in my closet. The rim of my closet is metal, so it clicks right on there. I have one under my desk because the desk has a metal leg. Uh, this is what they look like. In the back of these right now, they're magnetic. charging, lighting up red in the corner. Green just tells you the, the little docking station. Oh. So the thing I like is you can charge one, two, or three of them at the same time. And someone said, does this company make a bigger version? Um, I saw this on Amazon. I'm not sure it's even the same company, but it looks like the same deal. Oh. <laughs> Although, I hope 
I hope they're USB-C. I just bought them because they looked like a bigger version of the ones I have. We will find out together. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Let's see. Looks like the side is up. So their motion sensor. It looks like it can be oh, pretty yeah, big. Yeah. A lot of them. Whoa, there's five. Yeah. Wow. You know, I was looking at the thing and it, uh, I paid 40 bucks and I was thinking three for 40 bucks. Oh, you know what? This is kind of neat. <clears throat> if you don't have something magnetic, this, you know what? I don't have any other gadget like that that oh, included nice. this. Stick on magnetic strips. Like 3M on so one this, side, this great. metal yeah, on the other. Already. Yes. So this is going to be the charging station. You can only charge three at a time. Yay, USB-C. The matching magnetic thing here, already on the back. So this would go in your closet or wherever you wanted to mount it. So that, oh, this is good. This, these are, this is really nice. All right. So, you know, I, I don't quite get it. I, it looks like it, I thought it said you get three of one color temperature and three of another, but it looks like all of them are two. Switchable. Switchable, That's yeah. Soft white and white white. And it's uh, one, two, one, two, three. You get five of them, not six. So what we're going to do is we're going to charge these and then come back. All right, so it's another day, and I've got to play with these lights. And uh, I know a lot about motion lights, okay? Motion lights either have a two-way switch, which is off, and you click it to motion. It stays on as long as there's motion. A lot of them have three a three-way switch. This one does. Uh, this one has on-on. If you just want to take it out of the closet and use it as a flashlight, then it has off, off, and then motion, and it's staying on now because it's sensing motion. What's different, and the little puck lights are the same way. They have on in the back, which is good because these are nice and small. You could actually take these off and use them as a flashlight. So it's on, off, and motion sensing. All right, these guys have off in the center and either side is motion sensing. If you go to one side and the camera is not letting you see the difference in the light, but uh, I'll, I'll explain it, okay? So go to one side and this is the warm white. Back to the center, it'll be off. And to the other side, this is the, the, uh, the cold white. You might be able to see a little bit of difference in the camera. What I found is these are not super sensitive, which could be helpful. <laughs> I have a, a, a light under my sink and the sink doors, there's a tiny little <laughs> opening. It spies you. the doors don't yes. mesh exactly. And when you walk by it, the lights come on and it kills the battery quickly. <laughs> so these might be better because they take a little more movement before they actually go on. Um, and now let's see what one looks like in motion. A lot of studios have a laboratory. At Disneyland, we have a laboratory. All right. So I put one we of those do. lights we have a in laboratory. here. And now I'll just open the door. And you can see that it comes on. Yeah. And it's lighting up. It's one of those bins that we showed on the show a month or so ago. Uh, and it'll stay on for 24 seconds or as long as there's movement. And then once you go away, it'll be lights out. That's <laughs> pretty cool to put it in the transparent. Yeah. That's neat. That's great. They're, they're kind of fun. Yeah. 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 I really I, I find these fascinating because... You know, we've covered this type of puck, not, I wasn't talking even uh, before the smaller version, 
is we've covered a puck lights before, but they've always been, they've always had a downside, either, you know, non-replace, or you had to replace the batteries or whatever. This seems just like the best of all worlds. You, you get enough to kind of stick them everywhere, maybe have one or two that are sitting there charging and you just swap them out when they start to die. They seem great. They seem no, uh, absolutely. And, and I, actually, I like the idea. I was thinking, how did they decide that two would be warm white and three would be cold light? And until I got them and saw I play and realized all five uh, are what, whatever light you want. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Because, <laughs> yeah, that would have oh, been. Oh, you light. know what, Chad? Go back. Well, it's still there. This afternoon, I was checking the price. They're half price. What? Sign in and reading 50% off? They're half price. Whoa, so 20 bucks, because they're basically 40. 20 bucks for five of them. Wow. Four bucks each. That's pr- and 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 a, and a charging station for three and USB-C. I, I, I really don't, if you need a non-installed light, I don't know how it can get much better. They're USB-C rechargeable. You don't need to use the base. You can just plug them in with any cable if you need to. They're, they switch their color temperature. They're motion activated. like Magnetic. Back. Magnetic. They come with the thing. Like If you need to have a temporary light, I really don't see how another pr- a product could add any more features. Wait Seems great. Dan is saying... Dan is saying there's also another 10% off. How could that be? Uh, oh, yeah. Look at that. that. Extra savings. I don't know. Save 10% on type C. What is this? Station when you purchase one or more. Oh, I see. The, the Winnie store wants us to uh, buy more than one thing. I guess you could buy two of them and then get 10% off. I don't know. Maybe. It looks like they just want you to buy a few. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and then tw- and then you'll bucks. get an extra uh, if you 20 buy. Twenty bucks is a real decent price, I think, for yeah. them. I uh, agree. And they all do the multicolor. Yeah, Becky is is you have a switch to go from cool white yeah. to warm. Cool white. white on one side and warm white on the other. Your choice. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Pretty cool. Yeah, why wouldn't you get two? If it's 50% off, buy two, and then do you get the 10% off? That means it's 50% off. Well, you know what? It's by, you know, normally, Is that right? it's 50% off one item. So you, uh, you would get 15. You, this is how you know that you are an Amazon professional. <laughs> I don't think I have ever tried to put two items to get that. Uh, Coupon. Oh, I, 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 when I, when the things first started with the, 50, I said, let me just double check ah. if I want to, and it says fifty percent off the first one, and the second one is full price. So, dang it, and you can't <laughs> just sign into another Amazon account and get another one because. <laughs> well, I guess you could. I don't know. You could, yeah. but you wouldn't get Prime. It wouldn't work. I guess. You no, that's that because you have to have Prime in would, order to yeah, do it. You'd have to pay shipping. Yeah. Well, also, it says on there, I think it's only available for Prime members. Uh, oh, okay. Let so if you're not a Prime member. Oh, no, it does, it does say just sign in. For some reason, I oh, thought okay. I needed to be a Prime member. Maybe, that, okay. maybe some you do. Maybe I'm having misrememberings. Take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Always. Talk. Grain of salt not included. <laughs> Y'all need to add it every time I talk. Um, okay, gadget number three. Gadget number three. Here we go. All right. It's a little bit tricky. Kind of fun. What the heck is it? Uh, A toaster. It's a toaster from Lilliput. From Lilliput? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, like a doll thing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Okay. Does this pocket print help at all? Little Uh, itty bitty. uh, uh, Yes. uh, 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 uh. Um. Notes. Does it say it's, notes? It says. it says notes. Oh, let me guess. Is it toasted notes? <laughs> oh my gosh, Dennis! It is indeed. I love it. I love it. It, it is indeed. Do they really call them toasted? Toasted. No- oh my gosh! That's clever, isn't we it? We found it at Very. five below instead of posted. It's two <laughs> one hundred page toasted pads. I would have never guessed toaster. it was called toasted. It's very notes. cute. Um, it doesn't do anything, okay? The 
the little handle doesn't work. <laughs> they should have stuck a spring in it. Yeah, Let them spring around, work. at least. Uh, I have no idea. We'll, we'll go hunting later. How you get <laughs> refills for it. But it was just five bucks. And we saw this. And you I just thought, couldn't resist it. Dan it's says, so, gluten-free. It's a great little gag gift, you know, for like a housewarming or something. You could use a real it, post-it note it, as the butter, Fergus. Yeah. <laughs> the and, post-it note. But now I, I looked for it elsewhere. Someone's trying to sell them on eBay for $26. What? So they're just buying. I'm. They're buying them yeah. at, uh, at five below. Retail but Amazon arbitrage. has a totally different version oh. for fifteen dollars. I don't know if it's the same company. So it adds a pencil sharpener. Oh wow! And the back of that toaster oh, is okay. a place to hold paper clips. Oh, you could toast oh, your wait, phone. Oh wait, wait! Someone put their what? <laughs> That looks like a very old phone or a small phone. I think a mini would only fit. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, because this thing is only about four and a half inches wide. Oh, and and it comes in the blue. fifteen dollar versions in, uh, available in colors. That's so funny. But you got it at five below, so it was at five below. Only yes, five, exactly. And I like it. Says style bread. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Some intern was like, "What? What am I supposed to put on a style?" What yes. style? It's bread. Yeah. Yeah. That is so funny. That is a great little gadget. Toast-it yeah. notes. I can't believe that uh, Dennis got the pun immediately. Uh, he's good. He's a punny kind of guy. Gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. It looks like there's a competitor in the market. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> Ramen sticky notes. These are only a dollar at Five Below. What? Oh, it's uh, not as fun. As oh, it's much not fun nearly now. as fun. It's no. just because it's the packaging is just, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of styled. But then yeah. the pad just looks like rum. Yeah, I can see why yeah. it's not yeah. nearly yeah. as no, fun. Yeah. Not and even then, cut into got, a weird. If you got up in the middle of the night, you might put it in hot water and see. <laughs> These are the worst tasting noodles I ever made. <laughs> These noodles taste like saw paper. Like soggy God, paper. And it's so thin, I can't believe it. There must be no Talk nutritional about value in these <laughs> at all. That is so funny. Uh, oh. That's great. Okay, another. Yeah, I just ordered the five lights for nineteen ninety nine. Perfect. Wow, good. F wait, wait a second. Five of them. D Steve D. Did the fifty percent off work on all five? We need first hand reporting so that we can. Cover this breaking news. I ordered the five lights. No, I think just... Oh, the five lights. The five because lights. it's a five yeah. pack. That's, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, okay, well, with that, let's jump into the crappiest corner around. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. This one has so many features, the video ended up being a bit longer than normal. So we're just gonna jump straight in to the video review. Another week, another of the off retail, off price retail gadgets. Today, we are taking a look at this little guy. It is a solar companion. You thought you needed friends in this life? No, you just need a solar companion. That's all you need. Uh, so it is a rechargeable light, uh, solar powered, um, but it also has a whole bunch of other stuff, including a Bluetooth speaker, an FM radio, and my favorite, an actual antenna, okay? Um, when I saw this sitting on the shelf, by the way, uh, it was, uh, like we mentioned, off price retail. Uh, it's only cost me $9. When I saw this um, sitting on the shelf, uh, what struck me was that it was both a flashlight and a Bluetooth speaker, which the bingo, the Gizwiz bingo card was like already <laughs> half full. Um, and so I just knew that this was- And then add a solar panel onto amazing. it. I mean- I see. Um, so let's take a look at it. Obviously you have the flashlight. At the bottom, you have the Bluetooth speaker. You also have oh a solar gosh. panel. Um, what I did, actually, I didn't even charge this. I left this on my porch for five days. I, I forgot about it. So it should be fully charged. If it's not, we have a problem. I left it in the sun. On the top, we have a whole bunch of different ports. You can see a micro USB, a USB-A, 
a TF card slot or an SD card slot, and then an on off switch. Wow. And then uh, you also have your uh, buttons. So you have like a light button, a uh, minus and plus button or plus and minus button. And you also have the play pause button. Wait a second. As well as another grill that looks aw like suspiciously like this is another speaker grill. Which one is the speaker? I'm not sure. Um, and then finally you have the uh, FM radio antenna. Now, you only have these four buttons to operate everything. The light, the radio, the Bluetooth speaker, the, the SD card. So you know that the instructions are going to be simplified, obviously. The most simple instructions ever. Um, I don't know how anyone, obviously that is satire. I don't know how anyone ever is supposed to remember these instructions. Switch the on, uh, switch the, you know, this is just how, these are the instructions, right? Turn it on with the switch. You have a physical switch, you turn on. The M, the mode key, which honestly, oh, I guess it does exist, that's the light thing. So uh, that's how you can switch it between uh, Bluetooth and FM. So I just turned it on. Ooh. Bluetooth. Bluetooth. So I can hit this M key. FM radio. FM, FM radio. We'll switch back to Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Now, if I want to turn on the light on the top, the button I've been hitting is the light button. I've just been clicking it once. If I click and hold, there you go. Oh. Now, it is not a very bright light. It's very pointed, as you can see. I can turn off the lights in this room so you can kind of get a better idea of its uh, capabilities. It works. Like a spotlight. Uh, if it was dark, if the lights were out, I'd be able to see. This really pointy point is very interesting that it is just so spotlight-y, but it works, okay? It's kind of crummy, it's not the best, but it works. So that's the light. Uh, click and hold again to turn that off. Uh, we already learned about the clicking FM radio. to go to FM radio or not. So let's go back to FM radio. We can turn it down. We're, we're supposed to. Be, oh, I remember this. Bluetooth. I switched it back to Bluetooth so I don't have to listen to static. Get this. To turn down the volume, the volume down key, press and release, right? Just click it once. Um, that will go to the previous song. If you want to actually turn down the volume, you need to click and hold the volume down button. Clicking and holding, that's the only way to turn it down. So FM radio. go back to FM radio, a little loud, click and hold. Got a little, oh, I see. It's like it, you click and hold and it continues to get to get quieter. That makes it's just like the sense. fading of the light. I click and hold. <laughs> okay. yeah, how do you change now, in order station? to get another station, I oh. click the, and click and hold the play pause button and it'll just search for, for the next one. If I click it once, it'll mute it. I just remember that actually uh, from the instructions. Click on, uh, it wants mute, unmute, click and hold. We'll see, what is the next station? My Florida watermelons. My Florida watermelons, click and hold. He's fine, he's just being melodramatic. Melodramatic, click and hold, same commercial. Or maybe it's searching, maybe it's quiet because it's searching. That's what I think is happening. Oh, it's doing the thing where it stays searching. It's been so long since I've used an FM radio. Obviously, also, we gotta leave this up to get good good signal. Yeah. Right? Okay, so when I find one I like, how do I keep it? Stop going to the next one. Oh, I think I landed. Nice. Okay, so you can see how the FM radio works. Uh, you you kind of get all this stuff. Uh, obviously, it has an SD card slot. You can charge it uh, with a micro USB. Uh, it has a USB A port, so with that solar panel. Anyway, honestly, I, we just spent a lot of time on this thing. So far, nothing's uh, other than the, the uh, my cat is throwing stuff off the uh, shelf. Other than the fact that the instructions and the uh, the way to actually use it is very complicated. Like remembering all these buttons is just absolutely. Uh, ridiculous. It is doing what it says it's doing, and I guess it was only $9, so I can't really uh, uh, be all that upset with it. Here's a th few things to keep in mind. The battery inside of this is also crappy. I mean, it's a crappy gadget, so it's pretty crappy. Um, the playtime is only two to five hours. Not that much time at all. And then the USB-A port on the top of this 
is meant so that, that you could charge your uh, phone with it, right? Uh, USB-A to USB-C would charge a phone. Um, my guess is that this has some probably like really, really, really bad battery inside of it. So um, it's kind of a cool survival thing. You might be able to get a trickle charge uh, by leaving this in the sun and plugging in your phone. Um, but I wouldn't like, I would guess that this would probably charge your phone like a fourth of the way, based on the battery inside. But if you left your phone in the sun for a day, maybe by the end of the day, your phone would be charged. So it's a really interesting kind of survival gadget, uh, even though they really don't mention survival at all. I don't think they trusted their own device to like be needed in a survival <laughs> situation. Um, but it kind of does work as a great little survival, survival gadget. All in all, super crappy, but weirdly, it all kind of works. Like nothing was, it wasn't dead when I opened the box. Uh, so God, I appreciate that. Okay, back to you guys. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> uh, did you find it anywhere else on the web? So I did, I was able to find it. Um, and let me just pull that up. I mean, um, it does a lot of stuff. It, it does do a lot of stuff. But, the, but you're right, that those... Those kind of directions drive me crazy. Absolutely crazy. I would suggest basically keep the instructions with it if you wanted to keep this around. It having an FM radio would be nice once again in an emergency. Maybe you'd be able to hear some some news. AM is typically kind of known for that. It doesn't. It has no way to do AM. Um, so here it is on Amazon. Oh. <clears throat> So still there. It comes in all the colors here on Amazon. So red, yeah. blue, and black. Um, this doesn't have any reviews, but it is the exact one. Yeah. Um, and uh, so there you go. <laughs> like it's still being sold and whatnot. But this one has a, oh, I thought that it had a clip, but I think it's just a tint in the background. Um, so yeah, weirdly, no complaints. Nothing is wrong no, with it. No, no. It just is like obviously very crumb, crumbly made. <laughs> it's really just not that that uh, that great uh, of a of a gadget. Um, I could, looked everywhere. One thing that I you know I had said maybe it'll charge your phone a fourth of the way. Well, I thought well of course I'll, I should be able to find how big the battery is yeah. in it cannot find anywhere where the milliamp hours are listed. Did the Amazon page have it? Uh, that is something I haven't checked. Let me look. Um, and so my thought was just, you know, it must not be good enough. Oh, oh there, five, 500 milliamps. Oh, there, 500. Yeah, yeah. So it this would be something you would leave in the sun and because I would assume the 500 would it would charge it eventually. I don't know. Seems like you could get a trickle charge off of off of this. Yeah. It does have a little. I mean, that phone thing, the uh, the flashlight thing I had, that was a 4800 milliamp right. battery. In I that. mean, really, you should probably just like get a big big battery. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there, get you a big there you go. Big battery, and there this is go. like a a backup. Um, but uh, but yeah, so there you go. Nine bucks. Uh, looks like Dwindle found it on, uh, uh, sorry, what did I say? I just said it was actually 17 on Amazon. On Amazon. I bought it for nine. What's funny is Dwindle just found it on, um, Walmart, Walmart for only oh eight. Oh my gosh. Uh, so that's a great price. Thanks Dwindle. Yeah. Um, if all you the colors have too. patience yeah. using it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, this is probably the best of the of the crappy things this month so far. <laughs> so yeah. there we go. Yeah, uh, you know it's very funny at at CES. There was a um, I forgot the name of the company. This guy had a little sound machine, and the next year, and I had one, and I was talking to him, and he said, "Oh, it's a new model. It's a new model." I said, "What changed?" And he said, "Well, we pay close attention." to what consumers tell us. And he said, you won't believe what they asked for. And I said, okay, tell me. He said, they said that the, that the machine needs more buttons. <laughs> and the problem was that you used the, the arrows to change the sounds 
also as the volume keys. Yeah, this is, I hate that. Yes. Same. Yes. So you get a sound you like and you forget and you want to raise the volume and it changes the... St yeah. Same. So he said, so now... If this we thing have had five keys on, all, yeah. you know, it has 16 features. If it had 16 buttons, I'd honestly be happier than yeah. trying to remember and just label the buttons, volume up, down, song. Yes, next. exactly, exactly. Like, absolutely, I agree. Yeah, that's so funny. Um, yeah, I just want more. I thought the same thing. And buttons cannot be that expensive to design into a crummy, cheap little gadget. Just add more of them. <laughs> Uh, no, that's absolutely right. Okay, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh, oh. Our email is from Lawrence Wengler, W-E-N-G-L-E-R, who writes, Hi, Dick and Chad. I found a new software tool from Google that keeps me occupied for hours. If you like using Google Earth, this is for you. It's called Google Earth Studio, and he put a link to it, but he adds... You make videos flying in and around places found on Google Earth. Oh, it's so free, cool. but you must apply for approval before you can use it. I was approved in a few hours. I made a sample video. I created the dream house for Chad oh. in Orlando. Okay, okay. And he made this little video for you, Chad. This is this is the video. Okay. Oh, my dream house. Oh, it's a pretty good one. <laughs> it's a castle. That's cool. So this is made using that animation software, this fly around. That's really cool. Did you use Google Earth? I don't even know what that is, to tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah, I've used Google Earth. So Google Earth would basically do, you know, you could see similar uh, things to that um, by clicking and dragging. And in fact, I think they've um, integrated a lot of Google Earth into Google Maps, actually. It used to be its own se separate program, but... Oh, Google is that like where you go, it says, if you want to see what this store looks like, you can do 360... Not really. Not, not, not okay. really. No. Um, that is that is a different thing that they do. Um, <laughs> okay. Now, let's see here. I want to see if I can make sure to not accidentally show my location here. I think I'm good. Um, there we go. Layers. Earth. Oh, your location is showing up on your flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it would. It also has GPS. There we go, satellite. There we go. Keep going. I don't know how to kick it into its mode anymore. One second. I'm, I'm trying to mess with it before I show you. I, I can't. Oh, okay. Um, they do have a browser uh, option, too, that I thought I could make work here. But uh, I can go to Mercury, but I, I don't. I don't know if it just doesn't realize that my browser's. Uh, capable of doing it, but um, anyway, it's it, it, Google Earth is is basically all that satellite data that they have in a way that you really you're just focused on the the satellite terrain and all the buildings and kind of how that image you know as we did that fly around all of that was like the geometric data that that Google has to try to make oh, it look okay. as good as, as possible. Um, and that's really what Google Earth is. It's it's less about the maps and the directions and the point of interests and more about showing the planet and you can kind of fly in and see stuff and see the globe and see points of interest with their satellite imagery as the coloring and the 3D models that should represent what the real Earth yeah, is like. Yeah, that, that little video was pretty neat. Exactly, exactly. And so yeah. what people had kind of done is they'd put points of interest. So on Google Earth, 
you could go see the Grand Canyon and go really oh, check okay. it out. Or go to the Eiffel Tower and really check it out. And that's what a lot of people did with Google Earth is basically they, you know, and it was a nice kind of way to kind of scan through everything and, and see everything. But what this allows you to do is to take kind of all that data and add keyframes to it and export a video uh, for it. So, you know, the, you can, I can, looking at this, it looks like you can see like a preview of where basically a virtual camera would fly over this space in Google Earth. Right here, it looks like they're adding some type of ramp, ra you know, ramp keyframe. So, yeah, so it moves really quickly into it. So you could make some really good looking flyover footage to tell whatever your story is. That's really neat that uh, Google has built the tools to yeah, do. Yeah, for free, and it's free. Yeah, yeah. you just have to get Apply. approval. But um, Lawrence said he got his approval in a few hours. That's I'll put the great. links in the uh, show notes. That's really, really, really uh, cool. Lawrence, that was great. Thank you for that. Yeah. That was good. Well, with that, let's move on to the ladder. Wait. Is that, a, yep. is that a warehouse? Yep. Should we ask for videos? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay we're, we're, I think we're out of videos, okay? If you sent in a video and we didn't show it, uh, resend it because we got a ton of mail here and it could have been uh, mislaid. Uh, make a video, one to three minutes, any kind of gadget, new, old. If you have a Selectric, that's, <laughs> send us a video about your Selectric. Um, if you have a font... A font. Yeah, if you have a font, show us your yeah. favorite font. Um, make a video horizontal. Just make sure that we can hear you and see the gadget. You can be in it if you want. If you're shy, just use a uh, uh, video of the gadget. Put it up on YouTube. When you upload it, load a video there's a drop down menu you can click unlisted and then only people with the url will be able to see that video and send that to us mail at gizwiz.tv uh, that's it mail at gizwiz.tv uh, unlisted don't click private private means only you alone will be able to see that video mail at gizwiz.tv Send it in now! With that, let's move on to the letter! Now! Okay, so Mo found something specifically for you, Chad. Ooh! Okay. By the way, before uh, we get started, I, I need to thank Mo. Um, almost a year ago now, he sent me actually this stream deck, and it only took until this episode to finally reintegrate it in. I had been grabbing mine off my desk and dragging it over, and he sent it over uh, a long time ago, so I'm, I'm using it for the show. So thank you, Mo. Anyway. Mo, Mo, who is an endless font of weird stuff, found this on Kickstarter. Okay. And just seeing you uh, and your cats. Well, take a look. Okay, okay. So here it is. And after we do this, we can... Oh, oh, it's fully funded in six minutes. Yeah. So, oh, wait I don't, is this something that makes sense to you? It lets you put your cat on your desk in their own bed. In a world where keyboards double as keyboards. I want it. I absolutely, yes. This is, I would, how much is it? A hundred dollars! It's a little pricey. Okay, now I don't want it for a hundred dollars, but... I want the Wish knockoff version of this. <laughs> you know, I want the Alibaba version of this. Absolutely. Yeah, um, it seems a little pricey, but it's clever. It's very clever. It's basically a cat tree, but clamps onto your desk. That's what yeah. That's all yes, I need. exactly, exactly. Yeah, I like it. Now, I Or you know, you could get an old tripod and just <laughs> attach a keyboard to the top and your cat will sleep on the keyboard. It's not that hard to like Oh, there I like that. Yeah. You know, I should instead of just getting a cat bed, I should just get a keyboard. Yeah, a big keyboard. A big keyboard. No, I actually really like this. Although, you know, looking at it, it, it it's not much pricey. different than Putting on the shelf on the wall, or no, or, you know, you know, you're absolutely right. It, <laughs> getting yeah. the, yes. getting the tall table. Uh, There's a lot of other options. 
Yeah. PC guy says, what's going to make the cat stay there? Yeah. No, yeah. knowing cats, I think the cat will look at it, sit in it for three minutes to get your hopes up. Yeah. And then say, screw this. Yeah. I'm going back to his keyboard. It's yeah. warmer. Yeah. The cat will look at it, puke in it once, um, <laughs> and then continue to sleep underneath it on the desk for the rest of that cat's life. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit, I like it because um, the only reason that I uh, that I would get it over you know the other things is it does t there's there would be no footprint you know it's just my desk um, putting the cat there is cute and adorable I'd always be able to just look over and the cat yeah. would be there um, so there are advantages. Uh, not for a hundred dollars. I don't think. No, sixty nine dollars, you know. maybe. Maybe but not you know. If you, I oh wait a it minute, for it's thirty. Scooter X. Scooter oh X. God. What is this? The Instagram desk. Instagram desk nest. nest. Oh, there it is. This is just it. On, oh, it's it, the same it. thing. Oh, it's the same, same thing. thing. I do oh, like okay. that it is. See, because I've seen a lot of as a cat owner, I've seen a lot of cat. Things. I've seen cat hammocks and stuff like this. This is one of the only cat things that would hopefully encourage your cat to stay at your desk. You know, there's very yeah. on top of the desk cat things that is kind of a rare category. Typically, they're on the floor, under, or in a cat tree. Um, so I like it, not for the price, but yeah. I do like it. Good, good, good find, Mo. Very good find. Um, Thank you, Mo. You're great. You just find neat stuff. What what do you what what type of product when you're at your desk working? Do you want Charlie to be next to you? Do you think he could get a little stair stepper and then a little dog bed and then he'd be right? Uh, mm, no, Charlie's not like a cat. Charlie has his own bed, um, like ten feet away, and he likes he likes <laughs> he that. just likes that. Yeah, yeah. he just rather have that. He just be in the same room. He says, "Oh, he's working. I'll go to sleep." <laughs> That makes sense. Uh, well, with that, let's uh, say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you all so, 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 so much for our, your support of our show. We really, really, really appreciate y'all so, 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 so much. So thank you so much for your support of our show. If you like the gizwiz, please consider giving back. Gizwiz.tv. And uh, there's a bit Patreon tab at the top of the website that'll take you to our Patreon page, or there's also a PayPal link there. Uh, so thank you. Thank you so much for your support of our show. Uh, Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Whenever we're live, the website will update with the live stream, so just head on over to Gizwiz.tv and join along. Uh, the live stream is a great place to chat along with the live chat too. So make sure you join the chat room if you're watching live. If you don't catch it live, all of our episodes are there after the fact on our website, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on the show. While you're there, play the real and true original. What the heck is it? Here it is, the gadget that we don't know what it is. Um, if I, I hate to give it away, but um, you know, this is like a dowsing rod, but instead of finding uh, water, it'll actually find great deals on cheap gadgets. Wow! Um, wow! Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So good. Pretty Such cool. a great guess. It's, a, it's almost <laughs> accurate. Almost. Uh, six Mad Magazines for Correct Answers, 12 mag Mad Magazines for Funny, Clever, or Hilarious Answers, so get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.